Hello everyone, welcome to EduTab. And today we have Mr. Harshal with us uh, in our success story series. And he has recently cleared FCI AGM examination. Today we will know about his strategies and about all the learnings he had during the process of this examination. Uh, so, uh, hello, sir, how are you? Fine, ma'am, thank you. Uh, first of all, sir, uh, congratulations for the big achievement uh, that you have got. Thank you, thank you so much. Right. Uh, so, sir, uh, before starting about the strategies or the plans that you made for this particular examination, uh, I'm sure aspirants would like to know about your educational background and uh, what, uh, how you land ended up preparing for FCI. Uh, yes. So, I I had done my graduation uh, from IIT Madras. Uh, I've done my BTech and MTech. Both it's a dual, it was a dual degree course from IIT Madras uh, in aerospace engineering. Uh, and I got I passed out in 2019, and uh, after pass out, I worked for some months in a company, and after that, I uh, started preparing for UPSC. So when I was preparing for UPSC, one of my friend told me that uh, you know, FC AGM notification came, and only masters are on the on the qualifications only masters degrees. So I got interested and I applied for. Right, uh, because uh, in general administration, because of the master's degree, the uh, competition, it was quite less. It was, it was quite less, yes. yes yeah. Yes. And, uh, okay, so that was about your educational background. Now we'll start with uh, all the sections that come in examination. One thing was good uh, that there was no sectional cutoff or per se negative marking. So, uh, sir, if I talk about overall approach did you had that in mind that because there is no sectional cutoff as well as negative marking so you focused on some of the sections more than the others or you give gave equal weightage to every i gave equal weightage to everything because uh, uh, there were only 30 seats in all over right. india so right. the competition is very cutthroat so if i leave any once even one section there is a possibility i might have losen the seat so i i gave equal approach to all the sections i tried to I try to master all the sections. Right. Uh, yeah, because it was just not about clearing the written. It was all about getting into the merit list. And yes. uh, yeah, because there were seats so less. So uh, one, uh, so you worked hard in every sections so that you can get good marks uh, to get into the merit. Uh, that's good. And now, so we'll start with numerical ability and reasoning. Uh, because you are from BTEC background, so I'm sure your uh, maths uh, will be good. So, but still uh, without preparation, because in specific examination, uh, uh, there is a specific pattern, right? And the kind of questions that has been asked. So, so what was your approach uh, for this particular section? So, uh, there is a thing like FCA previously when exam was happened, it was conducted by FCA. It was conducted by FCA itself. But this time when they were conducting exam, it was conducted by IBPS. Right. So, one thing was in mind that... Uh, the kind of questions will be like what IBPS asked, not like what was asked in the previous FCA exam. Right. So that was there in mind. Uh, and accordingly, I had uh, I had gone section by section. Yeah, they can ask this because IBPS asked this section. So I mastered yeah. those sections from different, different uh, mock tests. Sources. Yeah. Sources, yes. yeah. So uh, that is quite an interesting thing that you observed for this examination. Uh, that this time, uh, you knew that IBPS is conducting. Initially, the institute itself used to conduct examination whenever they did. So maybe to some extent, uh, the previous year were beneficial, but still, uh, it was more important to look at that IBPS is conducting this year. So the pattern would be more or less similar to what IBPS asked. Right. So you went for the mock test from various websites uh, and you did sectional, you uh, sectional wise, you prepared for maths, uh, right, for quant. Yes. Uh, yes. And then you look at which are your weaker sections, which are your strong sections, and you then prepared accordingly. But that's a very uh, quite uh, interesting approach and a smart work, I would say, to know which organization is uh, conducting the examination and what kind of pattern they uh, usually follow. Right. So this was for your. Um, Quant part, quant and reasoning that you went for the mock test, a uh, sectional mock test uh, and overall mock test uh, from the different sources. Now, so let's come to GA, uh, general awareness. Uh, so, sir, what was your approach for that? So, for general awareness, I uh, there are 300, there are some YouTube channels which provide 300 MCQs for the month. What are the 300 most important MCQs for that month? So, okay. accordingly, I went through uh, past four months, 300 MCQs, around 1200 MCQs. 
and right. i revise it around four to five times right. uh, so so, so, so I, i'm yes what so the, most of the mcqs came from their own their yeah so that was i asking only that uh, were they beneficial yeah yeah i also saw so, uh, yes so please continue yeah, most of the mcqs came from there and another thing i was doing is i was studying with one of my friend so we used to do mcqs and in the evening uh, we used to do revision in the evening we used to ask each other we used to ask each other what, what is this what is that so that also helped right. so combined study helped basically right uh, so uh, there is literally need of a good peer uh, uh, around you that are as uh, aspiring as as motivating as you are so that uh, both grow right so uh, for as you said you did mcqs of past 3 to 4 months uh, the mcqs that are uh, basically top 100 mcqs provided by certain youtube channels uh, so my question is what according to you you think that uh, if one person or one candidate covers this certain months would be enough for example past 4 6 1 year means what you felt like uh, while giving the examination same thing like how i like since ibps is conducting hmm. so based on the ibps like i got from a senior who has given many ibps written exam so he told not so he had lot of experience so accordingly i went with so he told me that uh, mostly maximum 4 or 5 months only can be asked not more than more that than because that. he has given rbi and other exam so right, based right. on that experience he told me and accordingly i went right so means for last or uh, four five min, uh, months like uh, current affairs you should be thorough with it after that if you have time you go can go for six months and even if some questions they come from past five months there won't be so much uh, in number right? yes. there would be either one or two that you can skip but for last four to five months you have to cover all right uh, so sir uh, this was the current affairs that you prepared but uh, there were questions that were from static portion also uh, in ga so sir did you uh, did some preparation for that or you focus much on the current affairs uh, part only since i was preparing for upsc so right. static portion automatically gets covered there yeah, so yeah. i didn't have to uh, put more effort that side right Uh, yes, because you were preparing for uh, UPSC, so static was already covered. Uh, and so, what do you think? What was the level uh, of FCI? Uh, I mean, it would be obviously easier than the UPSC, but still, if we go for a from the point of view of a general aspirant, what do you feel like uh, was the section of this GA static portion was quite difficult, or if someone go have a a uh, surface knowledge of everything then he could go means what is your view on that i think if yeah steam as you say surface knowledge of somebody have then uh, it would be easy for him there is a book called lucent it's very like quite famous lucent book right so that covers static portion of it so if one is not preparing for upsc and one is directly entering into such examination right, right, right. they can cover that it's like 200 uh, yeah they can cover lucent that lucent and we have tarun goyal also these are some of the books Yes, uh, yes, that yes. have a over general uh, that have a general overview of uh, ga so uh, yes, okay yes. so if uh, someone is going for uh, such examination conducting by ibps they can go for those books right yes. uh and so next uh, come to the management and ethic portion so sir this was something that was a little bit different from your educational background having management and ethics at sub as subjects so sir how you prepared for that section so my senior again was preparing for rbi grade two. so he gave me management notes uh, that you can prepare from here and i saw the syllabus i saw which is not in the syllabus and which is which out of which section is in syllabus which is not in selection syllabus so out of the whole management notes he gave me it was a quite a big chunk <laughs> uh, I segregated a small. The syllabus was very small as compared to what it's as as in RBI grade two and other exam. Right. So I just segregated it and just focus on the, that section. Revise it three four times. Yeah. So uh, for answer for ethics portion. Ethics portion. So there is a book called Lexicon. Uh, yeah. When I saw the syllabus, I remembered yeah the syllabus exactly uh, exactly full to full matches with the uh, contents book. the index in the lexicon. Right. And I just went, and I just uh, went to the MCQ part. I prepared the MCQ from lexicon. What MCQs can be asked from this section, this section, and yeah. I went with it. Right. 
so sir, for management ethics as well as you had uh, notes for from your senior of RBI examination and ethics also you refer to one book. So sir, again, were the questions they were basic or were they of some difficulty level? They were basic, very basic questions, very basic questions. But one should have read it. That's the otherwise one could have been uh, one there one could have confused. Like we can we can get confused there, especially right. ethics portion. Right. Sometimes we just ignore the basic portion, thinking some uh, difficult questions will come, and then in examination those uh, simple questions only uh, ask. Right. Uh, and sir, so, uh, what about the agriculture, agriculture economy, and computers? So agricultural economy is like. Uh, it was I, I, it was covered from the uh, UPSC economic section, agricultural right. economy part. Uh, still, there are certain websites which tells the 50 major schemes in agriculture and all. So I I, I covered that uh, separately. And then for agriculture part, from geograph uh, for geography geography right. UPSC cover covers little bit, but still I went through the Nabard uh, grade B whole syllabus was in Nabard grade B. I, I had the whole material on what the agriculture syllabus. And I, again, same thing, I, uh, uh, I match with the syllabus which is given in the for agriculture. So syllabus right. was very less as compared to what it was in Nabar grade. Yeah. And I just segregated it and uh, studied it. Right. And so for computers? Computer, I went with just MCQs, just practice MCQs. I didn't write anything in computer. I was just going to MCQs and seeing it because I am, like, I have studied computer in my uh, BTEC, MTEC. So. Right. I was just going to MCQs. Right. So you you just needed a revision for that, and that is why you went for the MCQs only. All right. Uh, so so this was about the written portion of the examination. So now we'll uh, we would want to know about the interview. Like how was it? Because uh, usually there are two school of thoughts. One says that the panel it is quite jolly, cordial uh, with the candidate, while the other school of thought it says that uh, no, they are quite straight faced, rude personality, who are not interested in you, and they would grill grill you a lot. So what does your experience uh, says about it? Uh, the panel was very jolly. They were very jolly, very jolly. Uh, the thing is, panel will be jolly, but we can't say from their face, we can't uh, trade from their face that our interview went good. From yeah. their face, we may feel that it was good or we may feel that it was very bad. Yeah. We don't know what our impression might have gone to them. So we just can't predict that. But we can ourselves introspect and what I might have done better and good. Right. Yeah. So, uh, sir, how was, uh, what kind of questions were asked? Was, were from, uh, they were technical questions or they were just in general of your life or how was it? They were, uh, they had my uh, bio data right. form kind, like they had my whole bio data, like what I have, where I had done. So, 90% of the questions were from there itself. Whatever I will write in my bio data, that, that they had asked from me. So I am only giving them the clue what to ask. They right. themselves doesn't ask me. So if I'm whatever I'm writing, I should be very, uh, I should be very aware that I should know fully about it, thorough about it. Right. So that one thing, one thing I observed there. And one two questions they ask only two questions they ask technical. That too like from the UPS like they ask this article of uh, food which covers food, uh, which tells about food security yeah. and all. So that was like very basic thing right right all right so basically they asked about all the things that you have written in bio data and not more uh, uh, apart from that yes, right yes. yeah yes. uh so mr herschel says that for written portion uh you first of all you need to take care of every section you you need to prepare every section why because there are limited seats and you just do not have to uh, clear the written examination you have to be in the merit list and second thing which he did uh, was very was a smart work that uh, he he analyzed and he uh, and he found that this time fci examination it is being conducted by ibps so what uh, pattern ibps follow uh, he prepared accordingly. And third thing which he did, he uh, for written examination was uh, knowing the slavers. Because sometimes when we are studying a particular subject, we we go so deep, uh, which uh, which which is not uh, uh, important from the exam point of view. So that is why he went to the slavers and he stuck to it and did whatever was written over there. 
for ga portion and computer portion he went for the mcqs he covered everything from mcqs that are available in various youtube and other websites for uh, for uh, maths that is quant and reasoning he went for mock test he went for sectional mock test as well to know about the weaker portion that uh, he has and then he made command over them for management and ethics he preferred notes from his uh, friends and seniors uh, but again he only covered that portion which was asked in exam and not more than that and for agriculture and agriculture economy he had some previous notes only and he also referred to some nabard material but again only what has been asked in, in the examination for interview he says that approx 90% will be asked from what you have written in your bio data so you should be aware of it and you should be aware of your surrounding of how you are what you are because that will be asked your in your interview so sir have i missed anything no 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 ma'am right uh, so so something that you want to say to the future aspirants who are aspiring to be in fci um just go with the syllabus i'll just that whatever whatever is given in the syllabus just went go with it uh, there may be some materials some sources some coaching material especially for that particular course which may tell many more things this can be asked this can be asked need not go with that just go with the just go with the prescribed syllabus and lesser the source more is the, more is the retention so right. that is one thing because the broader the source the retention will be very less so right. keep your source very uh, limited and yes yeah. because when we refer to many sources we'll have so much information that we'll forget what to retain and what to not so it's better to have a limited resource and so that we can get much time to revise as well that particular thing only and always stuck, stick to the syllabus so that was mr harshal with us today and uh, thank you so much sir for joining us for sharing your experience with us and i am sure that it will definitely have help the aspirants uh, for the future examination uh, thank, thank you me. sir thank you very much thank you